वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ अनिता बायो कॉन्सेप्ट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रिफिथ्स एक्सपेरिमेंट इन विच इन द ईयर 1928 ही प्रूव्ड द ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डीएनए एंड फॉर दिस ही यूज्ड स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस न्यूमोनी बैक्टीरिया व्हिच एक्सप्रेसेस जेनेटिक वेरिएबिलिटी लाइक अदर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड इट कैन बी रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बाय observing the existence of this bacteria with different phenotypic characteristics so two important phenotypic characteristics of this bacteria or strain is smooth strain or rough strain which proved very helpful in the griffiths experiment so let's discuss about this two strain first one is smooth strain and second one is rough strain smooth strain is having smooth strain is having a polysaccharide layer known as polysaccharide capsule so it is encapsulated strain smooth strain is also otherwise known as encapsulated strain and rough strain is without any capsule so it is non capsulated strain smooth strain is virulent means it kills the host cell it kills the host cell after causing pneumonia because the immune system of host cell because the immune system of host cell is not able to recognize the bacteria due to the presence of capsule or polysaccharide layer so that's why the smooth strain act as a virulent strain but in case of rough strain it is a virulent means it is non pathogenic in nature it is non pathogenic a virulent and so it will not kill the host cell because it will be recognized by the immune system of host immune system of host and it will be killed so it will not cause any disease pneumonia or it will not be able to kill the host cell so these are the characteristics now frederick griffith set four different set of experiment four different set of experimental conditions he took rat he took live mouse and he injected living type s strain into the live mouse into the live mouse okay i have to rub it then what happened since type s is virulent strain so it must kill it live mouse so the mice mouse is mouse was killed in second set heat killed heat killed type s strain was again injected in another live mouse live mouse and what was the result since it is smooth so it will be virulent but because it is heat killed now so heat destroyed the 
virulency or virulent properties of S so the mouse will not be killed. It will be alive. Mouse will be alive. It will not be dead. In third set, he injected living type R. So, already the rough strain is non-pathogenic and if the live strain of rough strain, live strain or rough strain will be injected in live mouse, then also it will not be dead. Means the mouse will be live. Mouse was live. And the last one, what he did, he injected heat killed type S in combination with live type R strain all together. So, see here, heat killed type S when it was injected alone, then the mouse was live. And when the live type R was also injected alone, then the mouse was also live. So, in both the condition, the mouse was live. When heat killed type S and living type R was injected, were injected separately. But when the two strain heat kill type S and live type R were combined and injected in the live mouse. What, what was the result? The mouse, mice was, the mouse was dead. Very surprising result. Why? The question arises how and why the mouse was dead. So the explanation is so the explanation is in my previous video I have told that what happens in case of transformation in case of transformation whenever a bacteria dies or whenever a bacteria is killed then its DNA gets fragmented and they will be released outside they will become free and when another bacterium or another bacteria will come in contact with this free DNA then they will be able to be transferred inside the bacterium. This is transformation. So that happened in case of this fourth condition because if the type S, if the virulent strain will be heat killed, then heat will obviously, heat will obviously destroy the capsule or it will destroy the bacteria, but the DNA was alive. DNA was alive. DNA was not destroyed. DNA was not destroyed. And when it got the body of rough strain, then, then the DNA got transferred inside the, transferred inside the rough strain which was not pathogenic and this virulent DNA of smooth strain converted this rough strain into smooth strain making it virulent. So, in this case, the mouse was dead. So, by this experiment, Frederick Griffiths proved that some components of heat killed or dead type S strain must have converted the life type R, R strain into smooth strain. 
so that is the transforming principle so this is all about the griffith experiment if you like my video please press the like button share it with your friends and please subscribe my channel thank you